good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 17th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Posting my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. God bless you all, and thank you for joining me today. We're going to start off overlooking North America. Cold temperatures hanging around parts of eastern Canada and northern provinces. But still, some mild air here and there here in Alberta with Chinook winds. Watching some heavy snowfall coming in from the BC mountains as there's a very large low pressure system coming in. Bringing in a lot of wind and rain towards Vancouver the next few days. So there will be wind warnings. And across eastern United States and Canada, watching another nor'easter heading straight up from the Gulf. All this moisture coming from the Gulf. After this, nor'easter leaves the Atlantic provinces. There's another one here. You can see that bringing up all the moisture from the Gulf. That is going to be a big, wet storm. So stay aware and prepared, southeastern United States and the eastern seaboard. Overlooking Europe. Parts of the United Kingdom getting a lot of snow here. Cold temperatures still lingering around. High, pr Very dominant high pressure ridge over Russia. Keeps fueling down those cold temps. Watching a lot of Mediterranean moisture here as well. Heading across Turkey and into parts of Georgia. And in northern parts of India had that downgraded tropical storm. And now we've got two more spinning in the Indian Ocean right now. Both not headed to land. Monsoon rains already starting to increase. Heading across the Philippines, Australia, dry again, northeastern parts receiving some moisture later in the week. South America, parts of Argentina will be receiving some heavy downpours and possible hailstorms. So stay aware and prepare South America towards parts of Argentina. You can see here those heavy purples. As cold air is being fueled from the Antarctic all the way to South America. Just looking at our North Pole right now and the systems going around it. And have a wee look at our South Pole. I want to thank you all for joining me today. You know, uh, I post my weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world talking about extreme weather and earthquakes. But sometimes I get into politics when it has to do with weather. And I released a video yesterday about the yellow vests here in Calgary. And they demonetized that video. So please, if you are interested in what I was talking about in yesterday's video, please just check it out. Share with your friends and family from across the world. As we are going through some changing times, and our governments, United Nations, are going to do some changes without asking. That's all I can say. So looking at earthquakes here, the last 24 hours, still very active in Alaska, a lot of minor earthquakes, but we did have some pretty deep earthquakes here in Tonga region, Fiji, 384-kilometer depth and a 502-kilometer depth so watch for some larger, and we already did actually in Indonesia and Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea, 5.2 and a 5.5. So after deeper earthquakes, always watch for a larger, shallower earthquake afterwards. Some deep earthquakes here as well in Afghanistan. Those are kind of strange. And then over here in South America... Argentina, 4.7, and Chile going off. Pretty deep earthquakes as well. 
So a lot of deep earthquakes over the last 24 hours. And as I show you in the next, over the last seven days, it's been very active. I think it was 3.0 in Fairview, Oklahoma today. We've also had rare earthquakes close to a uh, volcano in Colorado. A lot of geologists are reporting this on YouTube. And you can see here, this is the earthquake map for North America. And it has been pretty busy recently. So those red rings there, that's the Colorado earthquakes, close to a volcano. So you can see here all of those red rings that are lifted away from Earth. Those are the depth of the earthquakes. So we've had a lot of very deep earthquakes recently. And look at all these deep earthquakes in Afghanistan, South America. It's been pretty quiet in the Antarctic Ridge, South Sandwich Islands area. And also Africa, the African Ridge so I think we can watch for our next large seismicity. Maybe the African plate or South American plate with the Antarctic plate. It's been pretty quiet here recently. So stay aware and prepared. That's the last seven days for earthquakes. It's pretty crazy when you're looking at it on a map like this. But here with USGS 2, you can narrow it down here. And let's just get the last 24 hours all magnitude. So this is showing all the magnitudes for USGS. Now, they didn't record the two small earthquakes that we had in Alberta. That's right. Northern Alberta towards Edmonton received 2.5 and a 2.7 uh, today or last night. Yes, last night. And they're actually saying that those were ice quakes. So yes, overlooking Alaska, you can see a lot of minor earthquakes still here. Big Lake, Alaska. We're also going to take a quick look here at our sun over the last 24 hours. This is our Lasco 2 image showing around that blue dark blue ring is all of the energy that is being pelted towards us from the sun. So the bright red is, of course, more intense cosmic energy coming from the sun. But I also wanted to show you this. Now look in the center of the screen there. You can see our little cosmic friend moving through space. Can you see it? Right there. And I've actually caught this object before. If you look back on a few videos from before, I have recorded this particular object before. So you can see that it is spinning and it does have a streak behind it. Very cool indeed. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye -bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.